Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we are going to take a look at this vintage Micronta Multi Tester. It is Radio Shack catalog number 22202A. Now, it is my belief this is from the mid to late 70s. I've actually found a picture of a receipt online for one sold in 1978 for $24.33. This was sent to us by our friend Rob from Massachusetts. Thank you so much, Rob. This is just very cool. So here's the meter, and I believe that this is probably manufactured by Sanwa, but I could be wrong. Got a nice little Radio Shack logo down there. You can see we have uh, 1200 volt DC, 600 volt DC, uh, output 1200 volt AC, common, and no markings on the back whatsoever. It comes with the original set of test leads, which I took a little emery cloth to to remove some of the 40 plus year corrosion off of them and that just happens you know there's there's absolutely nothing you can do about that metal's going to corrode after 40 years i mean you could coat them in oil but i guess that'd be about it so take this here so we'll get you guys a pretty good view And if I put it into the resistance mode, and touch these guys. I don't know. Isn't that funny? Because this just worked a little while ago. Might need a new battery. Yeah. All right. Let's change the battery. One moment. Okay. It was just a contact issue. So there you see, what we want to do is we want to take the ohms adjust knob and put that right on the zero. And you got to look pretty close to make sure you don't see the shadow of the needle behind you on the mirror. If you do, that's called parallax and you're not right on it. Let's try a battery. All right, so I switched this over to the three volt mark. Got a double A battery, which reads about 1.56 volts. I can get this on here and do it in the right direction. <laughs> we should be good. There we go. So we're reading the three volt scale. Let me zoom in here, which is the bottom scale. You see it says zero, one, two, three. We're just a hair beyond the halfway point between two and three. So that's about 1.56 volts. Let's switch it over to the 15 volt range. And this time we'll grab an 18650 and see if we get it somewhere around four volts. So we are on the 15 volt range, which is one up, and we are showing just under 5 volts, so right around 4 volts. Beautiful. Now, let's go to AC. So we'll pop that out of there. We'll put this guy here in AC 1200. We'll come over here to the danger, danger range. Put it up to 150 and i'm not going to plug this into the wall i am instead going to use a uh, i don't know what you want to call them battery eliminator um just, i just call it a power bank so we'll turn her on there ac is up and what do we get 
Don't tell me these probes aren't going to fit in here. One moment, please. Okay, I got a little, little rig up there going. <laughs> Don't do that at home. Huh. Oh, lost the wire. Let's try this. There we go. We're in the AC 150 volt range. And we are showing just under 200 volts. Yep. No, we're not. So that's a maximum of 150. Huh. I wonder why that's showing so low. I just may not know how to do this right. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. So the meter works very well. No worries there. Let's have a look inside. All right. Looks like two screws hold it all together. I already know that because I had to put a battery in it. Oops. Do not want to lose the screws. So I'm going to take them and put them in here. Remind me later when I say where are the screws. Molded in something. Can't tell. Yeah, no other markings there. 3A7 there. So let's take a look here. We have our inputs here. You see that going through a big resistor on output. And our plus, this is our ohms adjuster, scale zeroing. We got some trimmers over here for the various ranges, and you can't see very well in there anything, but it's just a bunch of resistors. Let me show you. Hang on. Before you start furiously typing away, yes, I realize that's a capacitor and not a resistor. It is, in fact, a 0 0.47 microfarad 600 volt. And here is the schematic diagram of what's going on in there. So there's our output terminal. And we have 0 .4, 0 0.047 microfarad. Then we've got a 6 meg resistor between voltage and 1200 volt DC. A 12 meg resistor between 600 and 1000. You see up here we have our switch. We have this. I'm not entirely certain what that is. There's a symbol for our meter movement. We've got two diodes to prevent shorting things out there. And, and all we have like, here is our AC 15 volts, 16 volts, 150 volts, 600 volts. No. And you see each one of those ranges is just a different resistor 4.5 meg, 900k, 450k. Then we go down here to our DC. This is DC current. We have 1 ohm, 10 ohm, 102 ohm, and 30K. And of course, there are our adjustment potentiometers on the end of each one. DC voltage, we have 48K, 240K, 900K, and 4.8M. And then down here on ohms, we have our battery right here, 1.5 volt. Because of course, we need to put a voltage through it. And then we have 24 ohms, 252, 2.67K, 19K. And that is the entire schematic diagram for this. And that is all the info I can find on this particular meter. I wish I could find a user's manual or a service manual, but I can't. I'm, I'm surprised I found this, to tell you the truth. But anyway, like I said, I believe this to be late 70s. It could be earlier. I don't know. 
Yeah, I just don't know. But it is super cool. And it is right now the pride of my collection. So, Rob, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. The gift was super kind. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking inside of it. I don't know if you paid much uh, time inside of it. Rob says he got this for Christmas one year. We won't ask him what year. Because he's an old fart like us. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really, really digging this. And it is going to go on the shelf in the living room with the rest of the meters. So Rob... Once again, thank you so much for sending this, and I want to thank you guys for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. Special thanks to all the patrons who make the channel possible. Buck a month's all I ask. Help us buy things, keep things going, and pay some bills. There's a link down below if you're interested. If you're not, then you're not. That's cool. It's all free. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.